we did a good job of coming back after yesterday, though, and it was a good example that if you have a bad day, you can come back, and there's always tomorrow. And the offense did a good job, responded. Young guys are doing good this week, preparing. Uh, but we need to have one more good, hard work day tomorrow, and then it becomes mental after that. What do y'all want to talk about? How did the uh, play calling process go during the game? Was it smooth? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it worked out well. And, you know, I've been asked about kind of the administration. Right. And uh, it was it was all good, but it was easy. So, you know, the test is yet to come. It's kind of like our players and leadership and all those things. Until we get uh, into some tough situations, uh, it's really hard to know where you are on all that. So when you win 50 to nothing, if you got a lot of problems with the play calling, then <laughs> we got some real issues. Do you think Oregon has any sort of edge because they're on the quarter system and haven't been distracted with school as of yet? That's a great question because I was on the quarter system for three years and uh, I thought it was a real advantage early in the season. Uh, we worked on an NFL schedule. We had meeting. We were able to meet a lot longer uh, than normal. Uh, so I did think it helped us. Uh, but I don't, you know, if they beat us, it's probably not going to be because they're on the quarter system. Uh, and if we beat them, it's probably not because we're on semester. So, but I, but I, you know, we're here for school. But that quarter system, the good thing about it is, it's like it's it's like being in the NFL for two weeks. Now, the bad thing is, you're not in class. Uh, students aren't here. The game day, you know, the students don't come. Um, at least at Tech. Uh, 